game. My serve. Take this. I'll take it. Sonia, didn't I tell you take it? Time out. Important news. A new movie is airing today on television about super bears. That's great. Let's gather at your place tonight. Uh, but my couch isn't big enough. We won't fit on it. Well, I don't even have a television. And I live underground. The signal is very weak. And we've lost the remote. Which was totally your fault. How about we build a gigantic TV screen? It will be like a movie theater, only in the open air. Comfortable and enough room for everyone. That's a great idea, Franny. Yeah, totally. Only there's not much time. We really need to hurry. <laughs> The hammer came from me, but that was by accident. Bjorn scattered the tools all over the place, and I tripped because I didn't have my glasses on. I didn't scatter anything. It's just that Bucky should be more careful with the skate, and then Val wouldn't have lost his glasses. I stepped on that skate by accident. Guys, guys, stop fighting. What we should do is... Anyway, Sammy, what was your skate doing there? What was my skate doing there? I used it to bring the speakers. You just need to watch where you step. Actually, I saw Chicky pushing the skate. So that's who did all this. You can't just blame everything on Chicky. You shouldn't have left him without supervision. Exactly! Isn't it your little pet? Ugh, I should have watched the movie on my own. I could be sitting at home now. You know, nobody's keeping you here. I won't make it home now because of you all. Only one minute left to the movie! Oh, look at that. The guys have fixed almost everything. Unbelievable! How'd they do it? Easy. While we were arguing here, they got it done. I see. This is embarrassing. We should go help them. Uh-huh. a tight-knit team? That's right. And nothing good comes out of arguing. Yay! Yay! Ooh, right on time. Who wants popcorn? I, I do! do! I do! Me too! Tink! 
anchor. All right. And now a bit of duct tape. Well, Sonia, we'll see now who can make the biggest soap bubbles. Hi, Sammy. What are you building over there? Hello. This is a really cool device. I call it a bubble blowing machine. The best of its kind, and by the way, the only one. Okay, then. Show us what it's capable of. All right, brace yourselves, because you're going to see the biggest soap bubbles in the world. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I've seen bigger ones before. That's... that's just... the thing is... I know what's going on. You've made this part too tight, and this one too loose, and these two parts have been put in the wrong places altogether. There! Bravo, Bucky Bear! Bucky, you have a real talent. It's easy to find faults in the work of others, but can you make this kind of machine from scratch yourself? Me? Piece of cake. There you go. That's what I call a soap bubble making machine. I'll go get my friends! You've never seen anything like it! Ugh, it's a pity Sammy is not here. I'd show him how it should be done. And here he is! Well, Sammy, you're about to see that there's absolutely nothing Bucky cannot do. Oh, uh, there's a malfunction, but it was working just now. <laughs> just a second, I'll fix it. I don't understand what's wrong. Let me have a look. I did more than just fix your machine. I've also added some interesting features to it. Wow! So cool! But that's how I designed it to be! Of course you did. You couldn't even make it produce regular bubbles. Bucky, don't get so upset. I believe that one day you will also make it work. How about we throw a party for Sammy the Master? Everyone's invited to my place! Sammy, tell us, how did you come up with the idea of cubicle bubbles? Well, I kind of thought that round soap bubbles are just so last century. Oh, the oven's broken. I guess there won't be any pies. Franny, you forgot. We have Sammy with us, a master of all trades. He'll fix everything in no time. Me? Yeah, sure. That's right. Well, that's what I thought. It's pretty clear. Sammy, do something! One moment. Ouch! Buffy, Franny's oven is going out of control! Can you help? Oh, could it be that the Master Sammy cannot handle it himself? I'm not a master at all. You know that. I lied to everyone. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's not our friend's fault. Let's go! All done! Bucky? Who else would it be? Did you really think that Sammy suddenly learned how to fix things? I'm sorry. I was the one who made Bucky's machine break down. And cubicle bubbles weren't really my idea. Oh, Sammy, you're such a tinker. Don't worry, I can teach you a couple of tricks. Really? Of course! Only not on an empty stomach. Bird's 
fine few. Well, Chicky, it's time to learn how to fly. So he flapped his wings and said, Off we go! And this is gonna be a helicopter pad. Oops. <laughs> and so the Sand City has been invaded by an alien monster. Isn't it fun? Don't you guys think that Sammy has been misbehaving a lot lately? Yeah. Usually I stick up for my brother, but this is too much. That's true. He's getting completely out of control. So there's been an alien invasion? Hmm. I think I know how to teach Sammy a lesson. Everyone remember the plan? Yes! In that case, goodbye, Earthlings. <laughs> An owl! Do you want me to give you a nut? What on earth is this? Hey, come on, let me go! Let me go now! Who are you? I'm a member of the extraterrestrial race of reptiloids. So why don't you just fly back to your Reptiland? That is exactly where we are headed right now. What now? Why would I go there? We need you for experiments. You will be our guinea raccoon. I don't think so. Uh, hold on. Think this through. I mean, you can't just abduct me. Why not? Does anyone care about you here? Of course. I have my sister here and my friends. They would be very upset if I suddenly disappear. Is that true? Absolutely. Check for yourself. All right, let's switch into invisibility mode. We're going to fly closer and listen to what your friends are saying about you. Hey, Bucky's coming. Get ready, everyone. There they are. My friends and my sister. Only Bucky's missing for some reason. Sonia, whatever happened to Sammy? Haven't seen him for a while. I don't know, but without him, we can finally play in peace. Yeah, I'm really sick of his constant stupid stunts. It's so much nicer without him. Even Chicky's happy. Right, Chicky? <laughs> I hope Sammy won't come back for a long time. Apparently, your friends are not missing you very much. Yes, I get it now. My behavior was really bad. <sighs> okay, take me to your planet. You know, I think I'm going to look for a better specimen for my tests. You can go back to Earth. Oh no! I don't want to go back now. What will I do there? <laughs> Nobody cares about me. Well, you can always go to them and apologize. Apologize? Hmm. Dear Sonia, Bjorn, Franny, Chicky, please forgive me. I was doing bad things, but I promise I'll do better. What do you think, guys? Shall we give him a chance? Pretty please? Apology accepted. Apology accepted. Thank you. I'll be on my best behavior. Hi, everyone. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Did I miss anything? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 
can wait till tomorrow. Like that. What is that noise? Oh, I see. The tap is leaking. No biggie. Okay, where did I put my wrench? Ah, there it is. Hello, hello Bucky. Bucky. Well, hello, Bjorn. Hi there, Franny. What are you doing? Not much. Uh, fixing the tap. Oh, all right then. We'll get out of your way. No, no, come on in. You should check out the new toys I built yesterday. Cool. <laughs> but what about the tap? The tap? Never mind. I can wait till tomorrow. Oh, I have to say that was so much fun. Yeah, only we've made quite a mess here. Not a problem. With my new turbo broom, I'll clean it up in no time! You know what? I'm starting to get hungry. Which means it's a perfect time for me to test out my latest invention. The Food Processor Full Belly 2000. What about cleaning? Never mind, I can wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, Bucky, that was such a great meal. I mean, talk about full bellies. Yeah, my belly's full, too. Hello, everyone. Do you want to play soccer? Soccer? Awesome! Bjorn, Franny, let's go use up all those calories. Uh, Bucky, what about the dishes? Just look here, there's a huge pile. That's okay. The dishes won't run away. I can wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Sammy! Pass, I'm open. Not anymore, but your goal post is open indeed. Take this goal. Uh-oh. Well, actually, that's exactly what I was aiming for. I was just curious if I could hit the chimney from this distance. Oh, right. Amazing accuracy. So I guess the game is over. Why is that exactly? Well, shouldn't you fix the chimney? Nonsense. I can wait till tomorrow. Let's play. <laughs> Ten to two is not yet a victory. <sighs> we'll beat you tomorrow. Vazir! <laughs> Bjorn! Bjorn! I'll score! Goal! <laughs> oh, it was all just a dream. I'm gonna tell Bjorn all about the goal I scored. Ah! Flooding! That's all right. I can fix it. I just need to find my wrench. Only where did I put it? Uh, hard to find it in this mess. Oops. Oh! Oh, yeah. I guess I should have done dishes yesterday. Oh! That must be the chimney on the roof. Whoa! We wanted to see if you want to play soccer with us. Nah, I really have to take care of some things left from yesterday. Maybe it can wait until tomorrow? No, it can't. In that case, Franny, shall we help Bucky to clean up? Of course.
sea monster. The plesiosaur lived in the sea. He had a massive body, a long neck, and lots of sharp teeth. That's a real monster. I wouldn't want to run into one of those. I know. I wonder whether Bjorn and Bucky feel the same way. That's right. We're gonna build this monster and scare them. Yes! Only what do we build it out of? Bjorn and Bucky should have something we could use. Bjorn! Bucky! Hi there! Could you spare us a couple of planks? If you really need them, you can take some from that pile. Only I've already painted one side. That's all right. Totally works for us. Do you need a lot of them? Not at all. Just a couple. <laughs> This'll give him a scare. Oh, yeah. And Bjorn will be all like, this is unscientific, and then he'll start screaming with fear. Hey, Bjorn, why aren't you fishing anymore? Oh, I'm just doing some research. I'm conducting a census of the fish that inhabit our lake. Hey, Bjorn, are there any giant fish in here? With really long necks? Bucky, there are no fish of that sort in this lake. So what is that, then? <laughs> that was a great prank we just played. Oh, yeah, totally. So what do we do with the monster now? Let it float there. Maybe it'll scare someone else, too. Listen, Bjorn, how about I make a giant fishing net and use it to catch that monster? Bucky, come on! It's probably a member of a rare species, maybe even an endangered one. It was us who were very much endangered because of it. I think we just got scared because of its size. It doesn't mean that it's dangerous. We should go study it. Is your submarine still working? Of course! Yay! Let's start our science expedition! Whoa, Bucky, look at that! Yeah, there it is! The monster! Oh, Bucky, look! This is our fence! <laughs> so much for a huge monster! Sammy and Sonia, they played a prank on us! All right, listen closely, Bjorn. I've got an idea. Sammy, Sonia, come with us, hurry! You have to see this thing! There, we found a sea monster! Oh, really? How incredible! Okay, show it to us. <laughs> Sonia, I don't think this is our monster. You're right. Bucky, Bjorn, let's just sail back to the shore. The monster doesn't really exist. Yeah, we just played a prank on you. No, no! We definitely saw it! A hundred percent real monster! <laughs> so, whose prank is better now? A prank? So the monster isn't real after all? <laughs> <laughs> Assistobot! Beastberry 
berries are totally yummy. Num nummy. I love them like I love life. This bear could barely bear his love of berries. Marry me, berries. There's no such thing as too many berries. Num 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 num. Berries. I love berries. I'm done. Totally filled my basket. Bucky, how does your basket look? Well, it isn't totally full yet. I don't pick just any old berries. I only pick the best. You'll put anything in your basket. Phew. I'm done. Completely full. Pretty cool, right? Whatever. Basket filling's boring. That's it. I'll build something to handle the boring stuff that I don't like to do. Genius time! I'm very happy to present to you my brand new Helpomatic Assistobot! That's pretty awesome. What does your Assistobot do, Bucky? It does anything! For example, it can pick raspberries. Berries. Watch it pick. It picks them really quick. Quite a trick. They'll be all picked in a tick. Hey, my bot is pretty slick. Now raspberry, yeah. Berries. This means we'll have enough raspberries for a hundred jars of yummy jam. Bucky, what fishing bay do you think is the best? It's bread, right? Puzzle! Ha! Bjorny, we really don't need bait. All we need is the assistobot. Can this robot really catch fish, Bucky? And how? Just look! Fish, 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 fish. You want fish? Here's fish. Let's go see Franny. Uh, does this mean we won't be fishing at all ourselves? Why waste our time on it? Now we can do something more fun. I am making jammy. Yes, indeed, I am. Jam, 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 jam. Hey, Franny, huh? look at this mountain of fish we just caught. Want to make some carp jelly or something? Uh, carp jelly? But I'm still working on the punch and jam. Don't worry about it. A Sisto bottle do that. Take a look. Just watch the robot cook. He's off the hook. For the little time this took, he should be in a record book. Fish pie. Oh. <laughs> the robot is incredibly helpful. Fish pie, fish pie. Well, at least let me pour everyone some juice, juice huh? Juice, juice. But there's nothing for me to do. Juice. <gasps> Juice. Let's play ball. Just you try and catch this one, buddy. All right, ready? Soccer. Uh, oh. Hey, watch the bot. Oh, you know the drill. Will he catch the ball? Yep, you know he will. This game is going way downhill with a lot of bot and zero thrill. The assisto bot does everything in everything that's happening. The annoyo bot does all the stuff and having fun is getting well, I've had enough! Constellations. Mm. Push. Push. So, guys, want to do something? Well, we could hunt for buried treasure. <gasps> huh? Huh? Treasure. Or we could put on silly costumes and take pictures of ourselves in them. Silly huh? pictures. Hmm. Your robot sucks the fun out of every idea. Uh, we could try badminton. Badminton. Nah, wouldn't work, would it? The assistobot would play for us while we stood off and watched like bumps on a log. <sighs> oh, got an idea! All right, listen. First, I'm gonna need a bucket full of holes. Bucket holes.
Lucky? What's going on? Uh, Bjorni, hi there. Um, I'm just training Leo. That sounds awesome. Uh, I think. What's a Leo? Not what, who? Leo is my tiger. He's the star attraction of my new circus. I'm starting a circus, by the way, because I rock. Guys, hi, good morning. Um, so what's all this then? Well, see, Bucky is trying to train Leo here. Fantastic. What's a Leo? Use your eyes. He's clearly a tiger, come on. You gotta work with me a little bit here. Circus, tiger, failure. It was up all night tigerizing my Remindomatic. Bucky, it's kind of silly to dress that bot thing up like a tiger. Yeah, you should be training real live animals. Dangerous ones, like Chicky. I actually have a book about animal training. Yeah? That looks pretty cool. Can I borrow it? By this time tomorrow, I'll be the greatest animal trainer oh. in the history oh. of forever! <laughs> All right, how to train. Warning, dangerous animals can be dangerous. That's boring. Now then, one, getting started. Show the animal who's in charge. Hopefully that's you, the trainer. One way to do this is to scare them. Aha! Excuse me for a second. <laughs> ah! Chicky! Stop it! It's just Bucky! You're pecking my brain! Stop! Get off of my head! Why don't we just skip the step about showing you I'm in charge? So what's the next step? Act out for the dangerous beast the tricks you wanted to perform and reinforce correct actions by giving the beast yummy, tasty treats. All right. Chicky! Here, Chicky, Chicky, Chicky! Yummy, 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 yummy! Add a chicky, come on! Circus Chicky, training time! He's gonna learn to bounce and climb, and tightrope walk and pantomime. I'm a circus trainer in my prime. He'll learn to jump and learn to swing. He'll learn to do most anything. Because in circus training, I'm that king. Think of all the awesome we're gonna bring to the center ring. Chicky, you are great. Perfect moves. You can have a cookie now. Mammals of all ages, welcome to the very first ever performance of the circus trainer, Bucky, featuring the one-of-a-kind phenomenon, Tiger Chicky. Chicky? Um, Tiger Chicky? Come on, up. Chicky, you don't want to embarrass me, do you? Uh, we practiced all night. Do something. You'll get a cookie. Huh? Chicky, what's wrong? Not even one little trick? Then fine. more than a trainer. Well, since I train myself, I'm both, which is pretty epic. Let's just agree I'm a phenomenal circus king. Oh. Ugh, but I never want to see another one of these cookies in my life. Uh-oh. Discoverer! Thank <laughs> you. 
That's weird. a bunch of precious herbs hanging up here. But who would come and take them like that? Interesting. Very interesting. Clue! Using my awesomely great brain, I've done an ultra-smart, double-deep investigation. I've studied all these mysterious prints, and I've managed to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that it wasn't me. Then who did it, though? Well, there's only one real suspect. And that, of course, is... Bigfoot. Definitely. You know who we should really be asking about this stuff is Bjorni. All right, then let's go see him. Bjorni, hey there. Can you please help us? You know about nature and stuff, right? All experty, we were hoping that you could tell us where Bigfoot lives. Who? If he's threatened you to keep it quiet, like if he's watching us, blink twice. Ha! I was right! It was Bigfoot who stole my prettiest daisy right out of my garden! Hey, wait! Somebody took all the medicinal herbs while I was drying them! And these are the thieves' footprints right here! Yep, these are definitely from Bigfoot. As can plainly be seen, my footprints are much smaller. All right, then. We should find Bigfoot and make friends with him, then ask him to return our things. But we don't know how to find Bigfoot. Let's find a way to track him down. Well, he does tend to leave footprints. Could be if we all just follow those, we'll find him. Great idea. Get ready, Bigfoot. Here we come. Where will they lead? Where do they go? If we proceed, then soon we'll know. Um, they end here. Well, he might have jumped super far, or maybe he flew. We need to think like Bigfoot. So he went to my place, and he came here to Bjorn's house. So where else do we think he might go? Right. Where would he be? Well, it stands to reason that if Bigfoot went to both of your places, he'd go to mine as well. Any bright ideas of how we're going to catch Bigfoot once we find him? Because I've got one. A net. <laughs> Just look at this horrible mess. We were right. You've had a visit from Bigfoot. Nah, it's always like that. Guess we beat Bigfoot here, which is good. We should hide. Then when he gets here, we could pounce. The second that he gets here, I'll shout, get him, everybody, and then everybody will get him. Then I'll shout, let him have it, and we then... give him punch and cookies. Are you serious? Know what? Just do what I do. giving a few herbs to science. And I'm happy to give my daisy. And I'll give it Chicky. Isn't it just amazing and wonderful and cool that our plants are on their way to a whole other planet? It's so cool that we solved the mystery all together. It was out of this world. Yeah, we unraveled the mystery of the alien but we still haven't figured out Bigfoot. Undersea Odyssey! Batten down the something! Hoist the mizzen thing and swab the anchor! Scuttle the rudder, yo-ho-ho! Bjorni, did I forget anything? You forgot to do everything except talk weird. Oh, you're right, I need to load my stuff. Why are you putting...
putting all your stuff into that big pressure cooker? It's not a cooker at all. It's a submarine, a boat that goes underwater. It's pretty cool. It's like an under-the-sea expedition. Hey, can I come with you? I'd make a really great captain. We've already got a really great captain, thanks. And plus, according to maritime law, little kids aren't allowed on submarines. Yeah, submarines can be dangerous, and you're too little. Mm. I'll show you who's too little. Mm. <laughs> SOS! Catastrophe incoming, dude! <laughs> Dangerous? You made them dangerous on land, too. Heck, I'm not at all scared of a little danger. I'm sure you're not, but we are. You're not coming. Wait, here's something. I made a submarine for training and stuff. It looks just like the real one. I tell you what, if you pass the training, then you can be captain. Is it a deal? It's a deal. Don't tell me there's something I can't do. Yeah, I'm small, but I'm just as smart as you. <laughs> and it's not important, but I'm cuter, too. Uh-huh, you know it's true. So look out, world. Franny's coming through. Franny, why don't we go ahead and start with the hardest challenge? You'll be saving a dolphin. Remember, everything you see on your screen, we'll see on this screen. You got it? I got it. And when I'm through passing your testy poo, I'm captain, true? Worry about that after the test. She really wants my job. No matter what happens, this hat is mine. <laughs> so now, little fox, let's just see if you've got all the stuff it takes to command at sea. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be rolling back. Guys, look at me! I think I'm drifting out to sea. Oh, no! Oh, gosh! Oh, golly gee! Oh, it's a dolphin! Hey, are you lost, pal? Don't worry. I'll help you find your way home, boy. Hey, buddy, be careful out there. Don't get caught on the reefies. A uh, bug? Uh... Hey, don't eat me. I'm helping you. What? This one seems nicer. I'll save it. I can't look. I can. Where was that one button? Ah! Found it! Bump it up, 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 up. Think she's okay? Sure, maybe. No. Oh, thank goodness. Phew. <sighs> hey, Bucky, Franny just saved a dolphin for real in our training sub, which is pretty epic. Well, <laughs> did I pass? You were just astonishing, Franny. It totally blew my mind that you weren't even a little scared of that huge shark. Yeah, and you were just like, whatever. That was a shark? I thought it was a dolphin that went to the gym a lot. Franny, my friend, we'd be proud to call you our captain. <sighs> <laughs> Video game. There and there. Perfect. Just feast your eyes on this fine architectural marvel. Hey, what's that? Like a lump or something? Bjorni, this isn't a lump at all. 
It's an igloo. You know, like my house? Yeah, but I made a skyscraper, Bjorn. That's what it is? I thought it was a stump. Franny, hey, so what is this you've made? A coliseum, where ancient civilizations held all kinds of contests. Fighting, jumping, fencing, plus chariot racing. Brainstorm time. We should have contests ourselves, right? We definitely should. Franny, hey, you make the medals. You should probably measure my neck first. I think I'll just make a cake, all right? I don't need to measure anything, Bucky, because I already know how much cake your tummy holds. <laughs> All right, Bjorn begins training for the forest games. Whee! <sighs> it's the day of the contest. I'd better build up my skills. Wait, better? I'll just level up my skills. Through the magic of video games, I can master every single event, all while sitting on my furry bottom. Goodness, but I love the 21st century. time to train as much as I wanted for the contest. Don't worry. Being part of the games matters more than winning. I couldn't agree more. And I'll say as much while feasting on my victor's cake. Well, if you're ready to get going, boys, let's get these games started. Chicky? <whistles> Thus, with the puffing of the sacred noisemaker, I declare, woo! The forest games open! Which button do you push to kick the ball again? I don't remember. Uh... uh ah. huh? uh, ah. Ha! That bar is way too low. I'll move it to the top and I won't even touch it when I jump. <laughs> huh? Hey, Bucky, you were right. When you jumped, you didn't even touch it. That's strange. When I practiced in the video game, I jumped much higher. I'm a double secret black belt in video game kung fu. There's no chance whatsoever of me getting beaten. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with my controller. Can we hit reset? my friend, but it won't help you when I turn my nitrous on. Hmm? What's going on here? This game has gotten really glitchy. I beat the final boss in my video game in like 30 seconds. Prepare to get sliced by the master. All right, the forest games have come to an end, and Bjorn is the winner! Let's hear it for Bjorn! Woo! Hooray! Thanks very much. The difficulty level must have been set higher than I thought or something. Or maybe you should have gotten off your furry bottom. Hey, here, Bucky. We decided to give you a prize as well. That's awesome! A winner's cake of my very own? Cooler. It's sort of like a video game where you level up for real. Dumbbells? For real? Seriously? Get it? It works on more than one level. Piece of cake, right, Buck? Now, museum, now you don't. Bucky, if you're sleeping, then stop it. Bucky, Bucky, look at this. I found some buried treasure. Come with me, Bucky. I'll show you where I found it. Right here. Holy moly! 
We should go in and find some more. Come on in, the dirt's fine. Oh, I found another vase. No, no, no. A shovel just ain't gonna cut it for a job this size. Brilliant time. We need a treasure digger, Tron. When you think there's treasure in the ground, sitting there, just waiting to be found. Just ground and screw and weld and pound. Then you'll be a first-rate treasure hound. Hey, Bjorn, I'm very proud to present to you my new Digomatic Tronotron. We'll get everything out of this hole in no time. <laughs> Put all this stuff. There's enough here to fill a museum. What a brilliant idea! Let's build a museum! Build a place that's big enough for all our awesome arty stuff. Yeah, my polar bear best pal and me built a gallery. Hey, Buck, what would you say this bucket doohickey was? It's a. Uh... This is clearly a knight's helmet from medieval times. I'm not sure. Looks kind of like a bucket. But of course, a really ancient one. That is not a bucket! Look at this! It's a genuine, real live, bona fide Brave Knight's helmet! Wait, you know what? It might be a bucket after all. A really ancient one. All right, what's this, Mr. Smart Bear? I think that it's either a shovel or a harpoon. An ancient shovel or harpoon. Yeah, very ancient. We'll put it here, like so. Franny and Chicky have just got to come to our museum. I do have a mild culture allergy. Achoo! So here is our new museum of really ancient stuff. I'm so thrilled to show you. A really ancient tea set. Once used by real cavemen to prepare real cave tea. How historical! Hey! Chicky, come on! Don't touch the really old stuff. This is a bucket from the golden age of janitor dinosaurs. It was made from the helmet of a chivalrous knight who lost it battling an emu. So exciting! And this, my dear visitors, is a real caveman shovel. Awesome! It looks just like a modern one. Hey, Franny, hey! What's wrong with you? Never touch the stuff at a museum. Ancient stuff turns to dust if you touch it wrong. Boys, what's up with that? Uh, why does that guy get to put his paws all over the ancient stuff? That's not fair. Huh? Okay, what on earth was that? I have no idea. <gasps> what if it was like the ghost of an ancient cave knight or something? Ah! Ah! Huh? Bjorni, the ghost is ah, back! It's definitely an ancient knight spirit. Sir, grabs a lot. You're really not supposed to touch the stuff at a museum. It's really old and it's flimsy. Hey, Franny! Mm -hmm. Shh. <gasps> huh. Who's there? It's just us. Oh, um, hello. Uh, welcome to my humble home. Um, your, your home? This really is your home? Uh, yeah, my home or hole. My name's Val. Franny, hi. It looks like my friends Bjorn and Bucky made a museum in your house. We thought your stuff was all from ancient times, from the Jurassic Middle Ages. Oh, genius time. Why not just pretend you're living in a museum for really awesome Middle Ages stuff, huh? I do kind of like it a lot. <laughs> My house did used to be quite a mess. And now there's a nice place for everything. Like there's my trusty shovel right there. Chicky, no touching! <laughs> I Get will have here. to charge admission, though. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs>